Greetings and blessings to everybody. I'm your boy Deacon Dundada. Here's my album, Spirituamo. Go download that album, cdbaby.com. All your major music sites out there, you can download and stream it. You know what I mean? Support the love and I hate marching movement. My brother and my sister, don't speak to me. But I don't blame But I don't blame we pray for a miracle within our The album is called Spirituamo. Spirituamo itself is the actual balance to navigate through your life to make sure that you stay on the right path because it's so easy to make the wrong decisions. I took to the streets shortly after my dad died and my older brother died. It hardened my heart to a lot of things and you know, caused me to make bad decisions later on, you know, not understanding why these things happened in my life as a young age, trying to cope with going on in society that growing up in East Orange, New Jersey. The streets is a trap. It took me a long time to shake that mentality. I had to bump my head against that wall several times, going back and forth to jail, life-threatening situations, fighting with the police, shootouts or whatever the case may be, whatever I had to do to get through and to survive. And it was only God that kept me alive because there's a lot of time that I could have been killed out there and lost my life. We prayed for a miracle within our lives. Look how far we've come. Lord, these so it was up to us to, to make ends meet and to be that success story or that survivor out there. Wanted to tell my own story you know, like dictate my success in, in the world and not just be subject to poverty and not being able to come up in the world, being black in this world and not having those many opportunities. I grew up in church as far as my mom took me to church. I remember my grandmother, you know, taking us to church when we was younger, but when we got older, we stared away from that you know, went our own path and I went astray. You know, it says like sheep, we all go astray, but glory to God that I was able to find my way back on that path. I didn't want to make a career of, you know, being a criminal. You did everything on this list of notes that you wrote to yourself in set one. And I was like, what's, what's that? And this is when I'm, I'm locked up, I'm in jail, we on the phone. She like, she was like, you promise to God. And I was like, wow. The Lord was opening up doors for me with the jobs and everything of that nature, but I had one foot, one foot in, one foot out. So my promise to God wasn't kept and I got locked back up. And it's like, wow, if I'm gonna do it, I gotta really do it wholeheartedly. I knew that. Be advised that this is confirmed shots fired, okay? At this time, units, be advised, confirmed shots fired. Six units responding uh, to this active shooter unit, please use caution. We're advising multiple victims at this location. On my way home, I'm still calling my son. He uh, um, was, wasn't still answering. So instead of me making a left to go home, I said, you know what, let me go down and check down here at this other hospital. And shot down there. And once I got down there, I seen the same detectives. You know, I jumped out the car and was like, I just want to check on the other two victims to see if, you know, anyone that was my son or not. And he was like, what's your son's name? And once I told him uh, my son's name, he was like, 
you know, he was like, oh man, um, uh, dad, uh, Dashaun died too. And I just lost it right there. I broke down um, hysterical out there down in, in the streets and at the hospital. It was rough that night. It was a real rough night. I couldn't believe it. It's like a dream. And right now it's still like a dream that I don't want to really perceive to the fact that he's gone. automatically sparked me to be an activist in the community and I wasn't so we reached out to the activists of this day right now which is Reverend Al Sharpton and asked for him to put a stamp of approval of this love and I hate march to make sure we drive the significance behind it home because it's so relevant and it resonates to what our family and what families across the nation. Let the word go out in these orange, we're marching for love. Love not hate. Love not hate. Love not hate. The turnout was major because so many people can relate to losing a loved one. We need to push this message across the nation. My current single is Season of Phil. That's a song with me and my son collaborated before his demise. It's kind of like prophetic. The message is about growing up in the, in, in the community as far as what gun violence is concerned. I come to bring that balance to counteract the negativity and to extract some of that so we have a positive outlook on life and so that the youth can see that it didn't have to be all negative growing up in poverty, being black, you don't have to be a gang member, you don't have to go to jail. I'm here to tell my story to them so that they understand to use my life experience as a way to not make the same mistakes that I made so that they won't have to go that way. Well, I teach them life skills through football and the rules and the principles of being responsible and working together as a team. My GAP program is a gang alternative program, giving the youth alternatives to gang violence or gang affiliation. The Love and I Hate movement itself is for us to operate more out of love and then you have less crimes as far as gun violence is going on in the community because it's so easy to operate out of hate. Poverty teaches you how to operate out of hate that you got to be a certain type of way to survive out there ready to you know to shoot somebody or kill somebody if you have to but nine times out of ten the uh reasoning behind it is really not as serious as it should have been um back in the day we used to fight you know and we'd see somebody the next day and he, you know he'd lick his wounds and you know that'd be that the hate and the mentality of the street violence is growing rapidly and it's a form of, of, of a demonic uh, a force that's compelling you with so much hatred that's building up. And, it, it, and you have to change in your heart in order to be uh, heartless and ruthless and reckless in order to carry out these actions. But by nature, you wasn't born like that. Your mom loved you. She changed your diapers. She showed you love. Your pops, you know what I mean? If he was there, you know, we was raised in love and knew how to communicate and get along with our siblings if we had them or our cousins. And if we understood that we are brothers and sisters and relatives and family members, then we could operate more out of love and not hate. 
And that's what the love and I hate movement is about us learning how to love and operate out of more love than hate so that we can see better things and have better opportunities for our youth and our future because our future and our kids is dying off young. If that's our future, our future is being killed every day. And you gonna remember me Cause I'm gonna live forever Live forever I'm gonna live forever King for eternity that's www.deacondundada.com And my social media is uh, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter is Deacon Dundada as well. We're doing the annual movement and we'll be going, uh, taking the Love and Not Hate movement on tour to different states and cities around the country. <laughs>